Real people, real problems. The drama starts now. Derek denies not one, but two of Alicia's children because he says he knows who the real father is. His former friend, Mark. They deny ever sleeping together. I've never touched Mark. Derek, you need to realize these kids are not mine. Where did he get this idea? I'm just a friendly guy. But the two DNA tests will reveal the shocking truth. Mark, Derek, Mark, Derek, you... you Two years ago, Erica was unsure if her baby's father was her husband, Mike, or a man she had a one-night stand with. You are not the father. They stayed together, but today, they're back because Erica just had another baby. After what has happened in the past, I need to know if baby Alexis is mine. Is her husband, Mike, the father, or will history repeat itself? Mike? Plus, this man denies all three of their children for one very strange reason. Their private parts are not shaped the same. Let's be truthful right here. What don't they have that you have? My privates, what more? No resemblance, not an inkle. Three paternity tests. He says it's about the privates, but will he look like a fool in public? Walston, Walston, Walston. It's unbelievable paternity drama next. Everyone, this is Alicia. Welcome, Alicia. To the show. Now, Alicia, well, Alicia is frustrated. She is furious because of this man, Derek, is denying not one, but two of her children. One-year-old Aiden, two-week-old Ava. Alicia says Derek is denying her kids because Derek has it in his mind that he knows who the real father is. His ex-friend, Mark. Oh! Eric believes Alicia and Mark had a secret relationship, and he is actually the father of both of these kids. Here's Alicia's story. I'm a thousand percent sure that Derek is the father of not one, but both of my kids. He's accusing me of sleeping around with his friends, and he knows that I have not slept with him. Derek is just a scared little boy, and when he get these results, this will be his wake-up call. As for me sleeping with his best friend, Mark, Derek is just saying that to get out of responsibility of being a father. My kids are the victim here, but after today, he's going to step up and be in their life, whether he likes it or not. So, we have given a lie detector test to Alicia, and we've given a DNA test. And we're going to get to all the results. And he says he knows that his ex-friend, Mark, is the father. That you have had a secret relationship with Mark, and he's the father of both of those kids. Mark, I've never, I never, never did. done nothing with this man. Never, ever have I ever it touched Mark. It was his Mark. friend, right? Yes, I've never touched Mark. They fell out for really no reason, all because he just don't want to take care of his kids. Oh, that's, that's the only it. reason why. This is what Derek had to say. Watch this, everybody. My ex-girlfriend, Alicia, is nothing but a cheating whore. And I know her two kids is not mine. I think Alicia is sleeping with my ex-best friend, Mark, behind my back. Until I get these results, I'm not going to believe none of them. I think Alicia kids don't look nothing like me. And not to mention her oldest son, Aiden, have seizures. My family doesn't make seizure babies. If these kids are not mine, I hope Alicia and Mark have a good life and she stay the hell out of mine. I hear... Whore! Did I hear right? Whore! Did I hear right? Whore! Whore! His family he doesn't make... He don't even take care of his kids! Here's Derek. No, Derek, come on out. Hi, y'all. Whatever Derek. you get through. Derek. <sighs> you okay, so let's get this. Let's see what we can agree on. Y'all went together, right? Yeah. Okay. She got pregnant. You were okay with that, right? Yeah. All right. Then, six weeks after the baby's born, you're out. We had an argument one time, and then you put me out. 
you don't actually put me out of the house and let him stay there, you know what I'm saying? And um, somebody told me that they seen him coming out the house early that morning. You a lie. You so, a lie man. and a half. You a lie. You a so, lie and a half. You are a lie. But, okay, this guy used to be your friend, right? Yeah. Mark. Yeah. He denied this, right? To you? Yeah. Did so he I deny it? Both of them. I sat both of them down there in front of me, and they both sit up and deny it. Well, don't you believe them? No, not at all. Uh, Derek, about something else. Your family does not make no nope. seed your baby. That's not right. Not at all. He all right now. He all right now. He all right now. He all right now, and he gonna be all right long as he got his mama. Yeah. Yeah. Seizure, baby thing. That's Derek, a cute little Derek, boy, baby. Derek, Whoa. you're gonna be a good dad to these kids. No, yeah. he should have um, been well, a good yeah, dad. Cause it's just, if they mind, yeah. He should have been, been a good dad. But how I'm actually be a good daddy that I know is not mine. Well, guess what? The good news is you just live 50 yards away, <laughs> so you can be a good dad. Right. Huh? Right. Yeah. He moved right. behind me to spy. Me. It's spy on you. No, that was if a convenient place. place. You should have went the, that is far convenient. away if you didn't think my kids wasn't yours. But that was convenient. Far away. That was convenient for me. Yours, you, you, and if I was do you want to be with her, friend. Derek? You want to be with her if they're yours? Nah. Well, guess what? Mark's backstage. Let's find out what he has to say. I am tired of my good name being dragged through the mud for something I did not do. Derek, you need to realize I did not sleep with Alicia and these kids are not mine. They are yours. I don't believe you'll throw our friendship away with these false allegations. I will never move in on your girl, Alicia. All we are is just good friends. Derek, when these results come back, I want you to apologize to me and Alicia and be the father of these kids that I know you can be. Would you Thank apologize? You. Yeah. I'm okay. willing. I'm mad enough to apologize. Mark. 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 But if they mind, yeah. Whatever. Would you just tell him he needs to be a man? He needs to be a man to his kids. If they mind, yeah. Mark, where did he get this idea? I guess because, you know, when he's Are you all friendly? Is that it? We, I'm just a friendly guy. Right. I seen that he had a lot of, he got kids by this woman. Right. Sometimes he's not able to do his job as a man or a father. Right. So if I'm just going to help, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to help. I took her to the grocery store one time. He wasn't able to do it. Right. Because so he her, ain't got no car. Right. But he was a car 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 and tell me and live in a shoebox. <laughs> I mean, come on now. So why would I pin two kids on you and they like you balling or something? You have nothing. <laughs> But I must have something you are. Because I must have something you are. You can't be your baby daddy. So you are saying it must be something. 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 These kids look like you. No, sir. That nose. That nose. You have kids? You got a big nose. I have a nose. Yeah, but it's shaped like his. You got a big nose. But it's shaped like his. You act like you got a butt nose. You got a snout. I get the feeling, Mark, that the, the, the way you feel about it is you kind of miss the friendship that you have. I miss the friendship. No, he's a cool guy. Hang out, go out and drink, have a good time. But over some stuff like this over a woman, it's not worth it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going we're gonna to do the paternity first. When it comes to two-week-old Ava, Mark... You are not the father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But Mark, Thank okay, you. let me you tell him he's the father. One. When it comes to two-week-old Ava, Derek, you are the father. You are the father. father. <laughs> when it comes to one-year-old Aiden, Mark, you are not the father. Yes, sir. And when it comes to one-year-old Aiden, Derek, you, you are, are the father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Need your baby back. Need your baby back. Come back here. Need your baby back, baby. Come back. Ah.
We'll be back. <laughs> Derek, we got the lie detector. I yes, I want to hear that. Told you. Told you. Told you. I let the No, you sit down over here. I got one thing to say. I apologize. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. I apologize. Alicia, we asked you, have you ever had sexual intercourse with Derek's friend Mark? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Thank you. Okay, Thank sorry. you. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry, ma'am. Ma 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 we also asked you if you've had any sexual contact, a contact of any kind. With Derek's friend Mark, you said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Thank you! Thank you! I was tripping. I was tripping. No, Derek, I'm you sorry. was acting Derek, like a king. Be a good friend. Oh, you I promise I like Mark, <laughs> thanks for being a good friend. Two years ago, Erica was unsure if her baby's father was her husband, Mike, or a man she had a one-night stand with. Does Nevaeh look like the other guy? I don't even know. I only met the guy one time. You are not the father. They stayed together, but today, they're back because Erica just had another baby. After what has happened in the past, I need to know if baby Alexis is mine. Is her husband Mike the father, or will history repeat itself? Mike? Seven babies and six men tested. Is he the father? Everybody, this is Erica. Welcome, Erica, to the show. Now, you see, this is not Erica's first appearance on our show. You see, two years ago, Erica and her husband, Mike, found out the devastating news on our show that Mike was not the biological father of their daughter, Nevaeh. Guess what happened after that show? Mike, her husband, who wasn't the biological father, stepped up and has been a great father to this little girl ever since. And, and Erica and Mike, and Erica and Mike are still together. But here's the deal, see? When there's history, there are problems. Because 14 days ago, Erica gave birth to a beautiful baby girl named Alexis. And because of their history, Mike is not sure that baby Alexis is his daughter. Take a look at their last appearance. Watch. Michael is my whole world. He's my best friend and my soulmate. But I'm terrified that my four-month-old daughter, Nevaeh, isn't his. He doesn't look like him. Does Nevaeh look like the other guy? I only met the guy one time. You only did this once? You don't know his last name? I don't know his real name or his last name. I love my family with all my heart. And if Nevaeh's not mine, I'm going to be devastated. This is going to be one family going to take care of that child, and that child's going to continue to have your last name. Yes, it is. It's going to be my child. Michael, you are not the father. I still love you, and I'm still going to be there for you. <laughs> That's my daughter. So, for the millions of you out there who see our show and know that there are times when the, the fella's not the father, and he says, I'm going to take care of this child, and you wonder, well, did he? This one did. This one is the father of Nevaeh. But, Erica, it's come up again. Yep. Are you mad at him for wanting to know? Um, I'm hurt. I thought that that was something that we were done with. You know, I know I made my mistakes in the past, but I thought it was something that we were done with and we can move on. Do you love him any less for this? No, I, I love Mike with all my heart. But this still kind of gnaws at Mike because he still kind of doesn't trust you. Right, and hopefully this will put an end to it and he won't have any more doubts about me. He not only wanted the paternity test, he wanted a lie detector test too. Yep. Well, we've given them the DNA test. 
Erica took the lie detector test. This is what Mike had to say. It was heartbreaking to find out that Nevaeh wasn't my child. But I am her father and I always will be. Eric and I were able to move on and become a family. We even moved to a new town to get a fresh start together. The problem is I'd find myself at home watching Nevaeh by myself. Erica would always go out with her friends and be gone all day. I can't help but wonder if she's out there cheating on me. When I found out Erica was pregnant again, I had a sense of doubt rush through my body. After what has happened in the past, I can't fully trust what Erica tells me. And I need to know if baby Alexis is mine. I know I can't handle being hurt again, but I don't want to wait another four months and find out that baby Alexis is not my daughter. Everybody, welcome Mike to the show. Here's Mike. <laughs> so, Mike. Thank you. First of all, congratulations. Thank you, I mean, Mark. the fact that you've become a terrific father to Nevaeh, that's, that's great. Thank you. How come you haven't gotten over the trust issue? Because uh, I found out that Nevaeh wasn't mine, you know, and it's, it's, it runs through my head that it happened once, it could happen again. And I don't want it to, I don't want to go through it again. I've not, not only do you want to be sure that you're the father of Alexis, you're worried that since the time you've been here, uh, till now, two years, that she might have been out cheating. Within the last six, I'd say the last year and a half. Anything specific? No, when I'd be at home with the daughter, with Nevea, she'd be out running around and, you know, I be at home. Need, I just need a break from you guys. If she, if she loves you, if she loves you, why would you think that she would put this at risk again? Put it at risk the first time. I don't, you know, I think you do it again. First, we're going to get the results of the paternity test. Then we'll do the lie detector test, all right? Here's the paternity test. Which, of course, we're all hoping that you're the father because you've proven to be a good father. Yes, I have. All right. When it comes to 14-day-old Alexis, Mike, you are the yes. father. Yes. 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 Now we have this. We asked you, did you have sex with anyone other than Mike around the time you got pregnant with Alexis? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> we asked you, have you cheated on Mike with anyone besides the one time he knows about? That says about everything, right? Yep. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> I love you. You gonna trust her now? Yes. I never want to see you all on this show again, ever. Oh, oh. We'll be back right after this. Thank you. This man denies all three of their children for one very strange reason. Their private parts are not shaped the same. Oh. Let's be truthful right here. What don't they have that you have? My privates are more. No resemblance, not an inkle. Three paternity tests. He says it's about the privates, but will he look like a fool in public? Walston, Walston, Walston. Seven babies and six men tested. Is he the father? Everyone, this is Arla. Welcome Arla to the show. Now, Arla, Arla comes to us in a desperate attempt to save her marriage to her husband, Walston. Now, here's the thing. Arla is hurt. She's extremely frustrated because she has been brought here by Walston. Because Walston wants paternity tests to not one, not two, but all three of their children. <laughs> Three-year-old Walston Jr., their one-and-a-half-year-old son, Devante, and their three-month-old son, William. Walston denies 
all three. And he believes Arla is cheating on him with all those kids. Watch. I'm desperate to prove to my husband Wilson that he is the father of not one, not two, but all three of our children. Our marriage is hanging by a thread, and I'm devastated that our family is being torn apart. Wilson said that he was told as a child that he couldn't have children. Whoever said that is wrong because he has three very beautiful boys with me. My husband claims that our three-year-old, Wilson Jr., looks like one of our neighbors. Wilson says our one-and-a-half-year-old son, Devontae, is too big to be his child. Our three-month-old son, William, almost died when he was born. I'm hurting so bad right now that my kids are suffering because their father is denying them. They shouldn't have to go through this. So, we've given everybody a paternity test, and just to make sure, Arla wanted to take a lie detector test, and she took it to get to the truth. Did he deny the first one when it was born? No, Mom, he didn't. He was there through the whole pregnancy. He was there when I gave birth. Yeah. With the second one, the same thing. He was there when I gave birth. So when all of a sudden did he get all this doubt? And towards the end of my pregnancy with our youngest one, he started saying that I was cheating on him through all the pregnancies. And... This is something strange. He says all three of them don't have what he has. What does oh he mean by goodness, that? Oh, my goodness, Maury. First off, his second toe, after his big toe, is longer than the first one, and they don't have that, so they're not his. <laughs> then their private parts, their what? private parts are not shaped the same. <laughs> Here is Walston. Walston, come on out. Yes, I do, Maury, but I'm Well, hurt. how can you I'm have hurt. your back to the man you love? How can he accuse me of cheating on him and deny his own flesh and blood? You love those I do, but I'm holding back. I'm not 100% sure, Maury. Are you, are you holding back in your affection for them, the way you treat them? I try not to, but I'm not going to lie. Yes. I mean, really? Yeah. Well, you... So, well, you I What, they, what don't they have that you have? My privates were more <laughs> my private. They're not, they're not shaped anything like me. Anything, no resemblance, not, a, not an inkle. If At you first, think I'm cheating on you, and on, you're gonna woman, accuse me. On, no, hold on, no, it's not hold on. You had your time. If you think I'm gonna cheat on you, if I was a man, I would not sleep with a woman unprotectedly if I thought they were cheating on me. Never. And I would not have three kids. Three, not one, three. Lies going on here. No, there wasn't, Maury. There well, she wasn't. took the lie detector test. Oh, we're yes, I find did. Out. And we're going to find out today. Today. You know everything. Maury. Let's go to the beginning. You don't think any of those kids look like you? Come on now. Be the father. You're going to change your attitude towards those kids, aren't you? 100 percent completely around. Yeah, I will. Yes, We're I will. We're going to find out right now. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to do. We're going to do the lie detector test. I mean, we're going to do the uh, paternity yeah. test. Then we're going to do the lie detector test. When it comes to three-year-old Walston Jr. Walston, you are the father. Oh, yeah. When it comes to one and a half year old Devontae Walston, you are the father. Uh -huh. Wait, that's the one he denied the most. That's the one he denied the most. That is the one he denied the most. Yeah. How you when it now? comes to three month old William Walston, you are the father. Thank you. Sexual contact of any kind with any other man other than Walston. That says it all. Come you on. said no, the lie detector determined you're telling the truth. What? What now? What now? What do you have to say now? Huh? What do you have to say now? What do you have to say now? Go be happy. Be a great family. I know you will be.
Amanda confessed to Jason she cheated, and their child might not be his. But in a shocking twist, she's mad at him. I know I made a mistake, but I'm fed up with being the man in this relationship. You're mad. Yeah. Because? He don't do nothing for him. I admit I haven't bonded with Dave. I'm just scared that he's not mine. Will the DNA test end the family drama or be the end of this family? Jason. You are the guy. Get off my stage. Seven babies and six men tested. Is he the father? Everyone, this is Amanda. Welcome Amanda to the show. You see, Amanda is as angry as she is heartbroken. Two months ago, Amanda sadly admitted to her boyfriend, Jason, that she had cheated on him. And there was a possibility that their son Dayton may not be his. So since then, their relationship has been riddled with anger and hurt and blame. But they both agree that the only way to conclude this painful chapter in their relationship is with the results of a DNA test. Yeah. I've been with Jason for a year and a half, and I'm fed up with being the man in this relationship. I know I made a mistake, but I know Jason is the father of my son Dayton. I'm tired of Jason being a deadbeat dad. I take care of my son Dayton all by myself without his help. He hasn't done a damn thing, not bought diapers, formula, nothing for my son, and all that's about to change today. Jason looks just like my son Dayton. They have the same eyes, the same nose, everything. If Jason doesn't change and start being a better boyfriend and a better dad today, I'm gonna leave his ass because I deserve better than that. So you're mad. Now, you're mad because, first of all, you have an ongoing relationship with him. Yeah. And you're mad. Yeah. Because? He don't take care of my son. He don't do nothing for him. Oh. Yeah, he signed everything. He was fine. He was fine. And then, as soon as you told him, Jason, there's something I got to tell you. He started denying it from the be Whenever he saw him, there was already questions about it because people kept saying stuff about him to him, telling him I was cheating on him. Really? Yeah, and I finally admitted to him, and I'm tired of it. Did you tell him that it's his baby? Yeah, I told him it was his baby. That when you cheated, it was not when you got pregnant, right? I told him that. It was two weeks before. It was a couple weeks before, yeah. He didn't believe you? No, he didn't believe me. <laughs> and because of that, what's his attitude been? He don't take care of my son. He don't buy him diapers. He don't buy him formula. He don't do a damn thing to him, and I'm tired of it. This is what Jason had to say. Watch. I was very angry and hurt when I found out that my girlfriend Amanda had cheated on me around the time that she got pregnant. And what angers me the most is that she denied cheating on me through her entire pregnancy. I've said some pretty mean and hurtful things to Amanda because I'm afraid that Dayton's not my son, and that would crush me. I admit I haven't bonded with Dayton like I should have but I'm just scared and still hurt that he's not mine. I'm hoping that I'm proven to be Dayton's father so I can put all this anger behind me and we can move on and be a family. Here he is, Jason. Jason, come on out. Jason, good to see you. Welcome. Glad you're here. You need to Thank stop you. making excuses and take care of him. So, Jason, this is what I'm getting through this. There is a big block going on in your head. You can't get past it, can you? Nope. That's a little baby. You should love that baby no matter what, don't you think? <laughs> do you love him? Yes, I do. Do you but love I'm her? I'm sick of it. Huh? Yes. Now, if this is your child, are you going to be a do a 180 on me? And yes, sir. Start taking care of that Stop child? Stop calling me a bitch and a whore and a slut and everything else? Even what happened? If he's not mine, I'm still going to be there for him. Okay. Well, let's find out. When it comes to two and a half month old Dayton, Jason, you are the father. I see that. What's that say? What's that say? What's that say? It says, you are the father. All right. Are you happy? All right. Yes, sir. You help out and give him a chance. Don't get in his face so much, okay? We'll be back right after this. Delilah is not your average single mother. Delilah was born HIV.
I struggle every day with this disease. And to make matters worse, Kyle denies that he's the father of her baby. Hey, don't tell me that. Sit down, woman. Don't Is don't Kyle know. truly the father? Kyle. Seven babies and six men tested. Is he the father? Now, my next guest, 19 year old Delilah, is a teen mom struggling to raise her nine month old daughter, Nancy L. But Delilah is not your average single mother because Delilah was born HIV. And she has never in her life known exactly how much longer she had to live. But she's here to prove to her ex-boyfriend, Kyle, that he the father of her daughter, Nancy L. Listen to Delilah's story. At just 19 years old, Delilah has experienced more pain than some people go through in a lifetime. I was 14 when I found out I was HIV positive. I didn't know what to do. I just fell to the floor and started crying. Despite Delilah's diagnosis, she's determined to live a normal life. I struggled every day, every day with this disease. I had kids not even wanting to be my friends. When I got with Kyle, I fell in love with him. We were happy. And as soon as I got pregnant, he started to deny my baby, saying it couldn't be his. Unfortunately, Delilah says Kyle has not supported her or her daughter during these tough times. He wasn't there when she was born. He wasn't there when she started to walk. He's missed everything. Sadly, Delilah doesn't know how much time she has left to live. When I was 10, my mom died of AIDS. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't miss her. And I just need to know, God forbid, something was to happen to me, that he will be there for my daughter. Now, there is one great shining light to this story, because baby Nancy L is free of HIV. What did the doctors tell you, that there was a possibility? Um, there was a possibility, but as long as I stood undetectable and t was on top of my pills, sh sh she would be negative. As long as it hadn't broken out yes. further, as long as your HIV hadn't broken out further, yes. the chances are that your, your child would not have HIV. Three tests and negative. I ask about all this because does Kyle know about all this? Yes, he does. And he him. still denies this child? Yes. Has he ever seen your daughter? Three times, and my daughter's nine months. Three times out of those nine months. You know what he says? He says there's another guy, it was your, it was your other friend, because you named your daughter after the other guy. But that's because my mother's name was Nancy. Oh, I see. Nancy L. Do you hear it? Can you hear it? Nancy L. Now, everybody's wondering, did Kyle know that you were HIV when he slept with you? I told him a week after we got together, and we didn't sleep together until two months into the relationship. That was his decision to sleep with me without a rubber. And this is what Kyle had to say. Watch. Just because I'm a good guy does not mean I'm the baby's father. People can pity Delilah all they want, but that doesn't mean she didn't do me wrong. She said she called to tell me she was pregnant, but that's just a fairy tale. I had to hear four months later from a doctor that she was pregnant. Delilah didn't include me in any aspect of her entire pregnancy. She didn't tell me about the baby shower or the delivery. She was heartless and self-centered the entire time. Not to mention, she named this baby after another man. I asked Delilah for a DNA test, but all she did was procrastinate. Bottom line, if I'm not the father, I'm done with your nonsense. Here he is, Kyle. <laughs> You know the backdrop of the story. I mean, it, it, first of all, this child is a HIV free. I assume you don't want to be with her, right? Not at all. Then why'd you sleep with her? 
Why did I sleep with her? At one point in my life, I did love her. I proposed to this woman. I gave her a ring. I offered her everything I had. All right, then. Heart. So if you knew that, you should have never been denying her when I got pregnant with her. Denying her? You I'm sitting here at work, up at school, uh -huh. working hard. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to Yeah, exactly. Hit... No, working, let me talk. Working, you had your that chance to you speak. Money, let me talk, woman. You can't take five minutes hey, out your hey, day. Hey. You can't take five minutes out your day to pick up a phone just no, to see no, how no, your no, daughter's no, no, doing. Let me talk, woman. Even if you let me know there's a possibility. You going to let me Even talk? Even if you know Calm down. possibility. Calm down. Let go me ahead. talk. You got your words out. Mari, let me tell you something. Yep. I go to school. I'm working hard. I'm further my education. This girl, she dropped out of high school. She don't want nothing. She low life. You know what I mean? OK, I'm a low life. I'm a low life. She gonna tell me okay, she told me she second, told me okay, about okay. her pregnancy. She never told me nothing. Oh. So I gotta get a message from her. She sends me a message on MySpace saying, I'm just gonna <laughs> right? MySpace. I'm just gonna put you on support. And my man's been with you since day one. Click. My man's been with me since day one. How do you have a man with you since day one and it's my baby? All right. It takes any man to make a baby, but it takes a real man to step up and be a father. I don't have to call you. I don't have to be, I don't, I don't have to be on top of you to call you for you to be in. You don't have to be on top of me, but you, but you need to listen, let me listen, know listen, listen, that listen, I'm listen, the father. Listen. This is your child. If this is my child, this, this girl will receive more love than any, you know, really? guy can give her. You know and she, no. she knows because I'll be the best knows. father. Hi. You still have feelings for her? Yeah. I got feelings for this girl a if lot. You think that if, if it turns out that you're the father of this child, is there a chance you all can get together? No. <laughs> well, let's not even worry about that right now until we find out the results. Thank now you. that I know you'll be a good father. When it comes to nine-month-old Nancy L, Kyle... Is Kyle the father? The DNA results are next. Kyle... You are the father. You're up on stage. Seven babies and six men tested. Is he the father? At just 19 years old, Delilah has experienced more pain than some people go through in a lifetime. I was 14 when I found out I was HIV positive. I didn't know what to do. I just fell to the floor and started crying. When I got with Kyle, I fell in love with him. We were happy. And as soon as I got pregnant, he started to deny my baby, saying it couldn't be him. Just because I'm a good guy does not mean I'm the baby's father. People can pity Delilah all they want, but that doesn't mean she didn't do me wrong. Not to mention, she named this baby after another man. If this is your child, if this is my child, this girl will receive more love than any guy can give her. When it comes to nine-month-old Nancy L, Kyle, you are the father. <laughs> Listen here. Hey, 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 hey. Go hold your daughter. Gonna... Go hold your daughter. Go yeah, hold your daughter. Yeah, let me see my daughter, daughter but you're going to change your name. You're going to change your name. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have a late-breaking update on Delilah that you don't want to miss. Seven babies and six men tested. Is he the father? Delilah, a teen mom who's been diagnosed HIV positive, just proved to her ex-boyfriend Kyle that he is the father of her baby. You are the father. You still have feelings for her? Yeah, I got feelings for this girl. What happened to this couple after the show? We spoke to both Delilah and Kyle, and although they live in different states, they both say they are in love with each other and are working out a way to become a true family. We wish them the best of luck. Until next time, America.